All right, so second day of filming is done. Two days back to back, legit 12 hours of filming. It's very tiring, not gonna lie, but I have this bombshell over here. <laughs> and we're going out, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm really excited. We don't know what we're gonna do because everything's kind of closed, but also not closed. Like, you can still go out and do stuff, but some places are closed, which is okay because, you know. First off, I'm never gonna get over this car. It's fing sexy. And I got another muscle car parked right next to me. What's up, homie? Look at that. Isn't that so fing cool? When I tell you guys I feel like a kid in a candy store when I'm in LA, I really do. This is the coolest city on the planet. Like, what the fuck? I'm gonna back up now. Like, what? I'm just backing up and it's fun backing up. Hey, mamacita, you want some Latino heat? You looking for a good time, baby? Hell yeah. You want to bring that ass over here or what? So we just went to uh, we just went up and down Venice Beach just to take one last stroll before we uh, head back to the hotel and you know wrap up our trip. And fuck, it's nice, man. I love LA. Everyone here is so great. The crew that I met on set, each person was absolutely fucking incredible. Every single person I met at the production company, I, I can't say any names. And I can't say the name of the show or anything because I'm not allowed to right now. Everybody was absolutely fucking incredible. And we just had so much fun here. Do you boo boo? Alright, so we are just on our way home. We've left LA. We're in Washington right now, by the way. Beautiful city. Haven't done much. Very nice. Based on the weather. <laughs> you've been outside for 10 seconds and you've only been the inside of the airport for five seconds. But it is so nice <laughs> inside this damn airport. Wonderful city, so nice here. <laughs> Beautiful people. Um, so yeah, we're, we're heading home, we're tired. You guys are probably like, hey, Ali, you're back. You're, you're probably at home now, eh? Well, you'd be wrong because Ali decided he wants to go back to school for a little while. Hey, you think that's funny? I thought you think that's hilarious. funny? You enjoy that? He probably needs it too. <laughs> hey! I'm not stupid. I'm SMRT. Smart. <laughs> Is that how we ended up here? Okay, so <laughs> let, me, let me explain the situation right now, okay? You're in LA. You film a TV show. You make a lot of cool friends. You have a lot of fun. And then... You're like, hey, it's time to go back home. You hop on a plane, you go to, sh to Washington, and everything's cool, and then you fly from Washington to Ogdensburg. Have you ever heard of Ogdensburg? You haven't heard of Ogdensburg. Nobody has, apparently, not yeah. even at the airport. They didn't even know what that was at the airport. But it's called Og Ogdensburg. So anyways, we're gonna fly there, and then from there, we're gonna drive over the border, and then quarantine at home. So we didn't have to pay nine, Dollars. Yeah, because if, if you fly into Canada right now, you have to pay for a, a COVID hotel. And the COVID hotel costs anywhere between like $1,000 to like $3,000, depending on how long you stay there. And they're also extremely unsafe. Yes. Like we, women have been like assaulted there yes. and locked in a room. You're not allowed to leave. Like. Yeah. So we wanted to avoid that. And we're like, we're just going to quarantine at home. So... We got to Augustinsburg, and then we were pleasantly informed by a very, very nice taxi driver. Very fucking saved the day, 
Jim, I love you. You're the man. Shout out, Jim. Shout out, my homie. Um, so what happened was, you're not allowed to go to the border without a COVID test, which we don't have, which we have to get in the morning and pay for. I just, I need you, I need to hear you say out loud that I was right. Were you right though? I need you to, I need to hear you. Okay, Emma was right. Emma, Emma was right. That I was right. Emma was right. Okay. Anyways, long story short, we're, we're staying in a school right now. Like this is an old elementary school. That has been converted into a, a hotel. Which is really cool. Um, but look at this. So there's a little cubby space over there. And look at this. It's actually, it's actually a school. Hey, uh, your detention hearing is here, and it says you need a spanking. Dun dun dun, cue the porn music. Quick update, Emma just vomited as well Everything. on her first day here. Why are we just vomiting on stuff? Where did you vomit? I walked into the room and I just felt like I had to, like this like Oh yeah, it's on there, I see it. I just felt like I had to throw up, I literally projectile vomit and went all the way across the room, look at the pillow. Oh yeah, there it's wet. It went, it went oh my god. From the door. How did you get my AirPods? Oh, these are your AirPods. That's what I'm saying. It went Bro. Okay. And I just went back downstairs for another cigarette. I keep hearing noises coming in from that room over there. And to the washroom. Oh, I'm fucking scared, dude. It's like the shining, but a hotel. I feel like these next couple of videos are just gonna be all over the place because we're all over the place, I guess. <laughs> um, so I apologize. I don't know if, what's going on. Yeah. I don't know how to tell you what's going on. Exactly. So I apologize if my transition, my uh, I apologize if like the transitions between what the fuck is going on is kind of all over the place. But we also don't really know what the fuck is going on. And um, but I just had the best sleep of my life. So that was it. This room here is the dining hall. And this actually used to be the teacher's lounge. Look at this. So, sorry, sorry, buddy. What's your name again? I'm Darren. Darren? Yeah. Guys, me and my friend. Do you want to be on camera? Is that yeah. So, me and my friend Darren here yeah. are uh, walking around. And I guess this is some sort of ghost app. And we came into this part of the hallway. And it said burning skin. Odor. Burning skin and odor. So if you have burning skin, it's going to cause an odor, right? Yeah. Alexis. Burning skin odor. And we hear some sort of noise here. Now this building burnt down a long time ago and it was rebuilt. You can see here that this is a picture of when it burnt down. But you can see here, this is them putting up the fire. You can see here that this is a picture of when it burned down. But you can see here, this is them putting up the fire. Yes. Mind. This is scary. I'm scared. Are you scared? Yeah. I'm very scared right now. This is such an incredibly beautiful inn. Incredibly beautiful. The, the hosts, Donna and Jim, are freaking fantastic. The place itself is a school. Like, it's an old elementary school, and it's so... The place is absolutely gorgeous, but I get these creepy vibes. This place is so spooky at nighttime, and I absolutely love it. Try to picture this, okay? 
you wake up in bed, you're cold. You stick your head out from under the covers and you're in a classroom. You have no idea how you got here. You make your way over the hallway and you're, you're in a school and it's deserted. It's empty and you're sleeping in a school. That's what me and Emma are doing here. So, so creepy. Like I actually had nightmares about this and now I'm living it and it's so scary. This is our room. Um, you guys can see the bathroom here. Literally has a restroom. It's like a, it's a class, it's like a, a classroom bathroom. Um, I think they added the shower in themselves. You can see the, uh, the radiators or uh, the heating thing here. Um, there's a telescope. Obviously they've, they've carpeted the place, but you can see the, I, th I think this is called linoleum. You can see that there. Um, this is our bed, super freaking comfy. Um, you can see the, like, teachers would put their supplies in here. Um, and this is just some cool stuff. Uh, this is the Ogdensburg Agreement where Lionel Mackenzie King and US President Franklin D. Roosevelt agreed to defend each other if either was invaded as part of the Ogdensburg Act. Which is so cool because Emma and I are Canadians and we're staying in this, this, this room. This is the little cubby area with um, the mirror there that is very creepy, not gonna lie. Um, and I think there's a, I think that's like an escape route. the gymnasium. Uh, I think I'm so bad because I hear someone walking upstairs. But it's the gymnasium and it's so cool. Look at this. And they just have all these toys.
Is there anything here? If there's anything here, please. This is the playroom, so if anything is here, I think it would be a child. This is the playroom, so if anything actually is here, well, it would be a child, but... leave the gymnasium because I don't know what something turned on a toy in there. That's giving the hell out of me. the shining right now but i'm staying in a school instead of a hotel and that scares the hell out of me and i am fucking terrified <sighs> what the fuck? <laughs> there's a fucking noise <laughs> i'm actually just i'm gonna stay in this room because i'm so scared <laughs> I think I'm just like over hyping myself up. I think I'm just being way too hypersensitive in an old building right now. But like Stay in the room. Why? 
You should stay in here. I think I'm not leaving the room anymore. Okay. I was in the gym. I was just recording because I was trying to do like an exploration. bouncing into nowhere on the other side of the gym and then I went to look at that and then this fucking little seahorse thing or it was a regular horse you know those horses that are on like the rails yeah like the kids horses a rocking horse yes that started moving by itself what yeah and then I started hearing noises and then I went down to, like the bottom part of the building and I don't think I was supposed to go there I was really scared and uh, this is a scary ass place <coughs> I got I got the sniffles. Oh, no. I don't have any allergy medication. I have allergy. You do? I do. Okay. I don't have the sniffles then. Um guys, this place is really scary. So we just had to move rooms because our room is actually booked now. This is our new room. This is where we had the paranormal experience. So this is good. This is good. This is fine. This is fine. We're literally staying right next to the stairwell. And this door, I swear to God on my life, it keeps opening up. That's the stairwell. And this door keeps opening. Okay, well, it's not doing it right now. Oh, I feel I feel like it looks so weird without a hat. Okay, it's not doing it right now, but it was. I swear to God, it was scaring the shit out of me. And Emma's in the kitchen right now. She's getting some food. It's one o'clock in the morning. Um, and I'm just spooked. Also, the room has a, like, this is so cool because the room has a shower right in it. Um, but again, I'm very frightened right now. Cause like, let's see how dark it gets in here. <gasps> okay, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, let's turn on the freaking light. Yeah, you know what, let's uh, turn that light back on cause your boy is so fucking scared. I don't know what the hell happened. I don't know if it was cause I went through like so many different metal detectors at the airports and stuff like that, but none of, like half of my footage is just gone. Um, we had a whole thing where we did necrophonic inside the hotel room and that was really really fun But it's just gone Just to give you guys some insight on necrophonic inside the hotel room. It referenced burning three times Three times it referenced burning. Uh, I didn't get a name of anything although Jaren's ghost reader said Alexis, but I, I didn't hear anything like that uh, so Unfortunately, we don't have that but oh, why do I look like such a wiener? Well, I need a hat Hey, hey, that's not nice. <laughs> Alright, so I got my hat on. You're a wiener. <laughs> You're a, a wiener. Um, okay, so yeah, so just half the footage, half half the stuff from the hotel room is just gone. What? Half the footage from the hotel. Are you kidding? No, for real, like it's just gone. I think it's because when we, for, Emma can ask you guys, uh, sorry, Emma can confirm to you guys how many times I've gone through metal detectors. Uh, and all the ridiculous stuff that I have to go through at the airport. Oh, yeah. Okay. Every single time you go, it beeps on his dick. Every know. time it goes legit. This isn't like. You know what? Eyes up here. Right, do you see how low they're trying to go over there? Disgusting, you guys. Give me my shorts. They can look, but they can't touch. Give me my shorts back. Those aren't your shorts. They're mine. They look good on you, we're, we're trying to clean. The room cause I destroyed it when I was trying to pack for LA because I wanted to find all my clothes. And then we were only able to go out at night. Yeah. <laughs> um, but anyways, we're back home. We're safe. I missed my boo-boos. My babies. I mean, baby. 
He missed us too. I know. When we got home, he hugged, like, he literally gripped my leg. Like, you know when a child, like, wraps themselves around Yeah. Like, that's what he did, and he, like, obviously he wasn't, like, gripping, gripping, but he would not let go. Like, he was hugging my leg. Milo, Kovu, I don't think he even realized we left. He barked at me when we got home. He didn't, because I had a hat and a mask on. Oh, yeah, he didn't know he who didn't he was. he didn't recognize the network, but I had to take off my hat for him to be like, oh, my God, it's you, oh. mommy. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go, but I'm going to show you guys the clip of when we got home with the dog so you guys can see their reaction. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned because I'm about to show you guys the dogs seeing us for the first time after 10 days. It was so freaking cute. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. I'm happy to be back. I miss you guys a lot and I apologize. Luna, mad at me. Luna still doesn't talk to Emma. No, like legit, they're legit not me. answering any of Emma's texts. Not answering his calls. She was mad at me for like a good 10 minutes when I got home. And then she was like, okay, fine. I yeah. You, I guess. Yeah, Luna was me. Where is she? She loves me though. She's so happy I'm home. She meowed at me. So Damn. Much. She ain't even here. She ain't even here to confirm. Look, wiener. All right, not a wiener, wiener. Anyways, I'm just going to go. I love you guys. Did you just stick your finger in my butt? Does it smell nice? <laughs> I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>